हेलो एवरी वन आई एम काजल झा लेक्चरर इन प्रवीण पाटिल कॉलेज ऑफ डिप्लोमा इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिट टू दैट इज कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक एंड सिक्वेंशियल लॉजिक सर्किट्स इलेक्ट्रिकल डिपार्टमेंट टूडेज इन अ टूडेज वीडियो वी हैव टू सीन दैट इज वॉट वॉट इज द मल्टीप्लेक्सर वॉट डू मीन बाय मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड वेयर वी वी विल यूज द मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो नाउ सी मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर ओके सो मल्टीप्लेक्सर मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट देयर आर एन डेटा इनपुट्स एंड ओनली वन आउटपुट एंड एम सेलेक्ट इनपुट्स विथ टू एम इज इक्वल टू एन दैट इज टू टू दी पावर एम इज इक्वल टू वॉट एन इट इज अ डिजिटल सर्किट विच सेलेक्ट्स वन ऑफ दी एन डेटा इनपुट्स एंड रूट्स इट टू the output the selection of a one of the n inputs is uh, done by the selected inputs depending on the digital code applied at the selected input one out uh, of n data sources is selected and transmitted to the uh, single output that is y and e is called as a strobe or enable input uh, which is useful for the cascading Uh, it is generally an active low terminal that means uh, it will perform the required operation when it is low so multiplexer is nothing but uh, it is a digital circuit which select one of the n inputs and uh, connects it to the output okay so now we see uh, what is the functional diagram for the mux okay this is the functional diagram for the mux uh, here if you see here that is a uh, uh, if you see here that is here the number of inputs that is i0 i1 up to i n minus 1 that is nothing but these are the data inputs and here the only the one output if we select i1 okay if we select the i1 that is input number 1 then this input number 1 is connected to the output and we get the input 1 okay corresponding output to the input 1 and this is the select lines and this is the select lines to the mux okay select input code determine which input is transmitted to the output z okay this is uh, n inputs and uh, n control uh, n control signals and this is a uh, one single output this is nothing but the multiplexer multiplexer accepts the number of inputs but the output is only one using the uh, multi uh, select lines the select line decided which number of output is connect to the output side which number of the input is connect to the output side okay so multiplexer come in a multiple variation that is 2 is to 1 multiplexer this first number decides the number of inputs if we, uh, if we say the 2 is to 1 multiplexer then the multiplexer have two inputs and only the one output if we say the 4 into 1 mux that is 4 is to 1 multiplexer uh, shows that there are four inputs present in the 4 is to 1 multiplexer 16 is to 1 that is 16 inputs and one output 32 is to 1 that is 32 inputs and one output okay this is the uh, input for the 2 is to 1 multiplexer here the enable and here the select and here the output e0 is the enable number then 0 this is the initial condition uh, the output is always 0 if uh, uh, there is two inputs that is uh, enable is 1 okay this is the enable that is here the enable signal is created so select uh, here is only the two inputs that is 0 and 1 so here uh, output is what a one output is d0 and one output is d1 because if we connect the if we connect this first line to the uh, output then we get d0 and if we connect the uh, second line to the uh, output then we get d1 output okay this is the uh, truth table for the 2 is to 1 mux if you hear uh, if you see here this is the uh, 2 is to 1 mux uh, table uh, block diagram here the enable signal is given here the one select line because here two inputs are there so a one select line is present so d1 and d0 if we uh, the output is what if uh, s is equal to uh, s is enable then d1 is connected to this so output is also d1 okay one is connected to this then d1 is what uh, output is d1 and then d0 is 
connected to output then output is d0 then for, for 4 is to 1 marks if you see here there is a four outputs and here is a two uh, selected lines select lines so select line s1 and s0 here the select lines number is 2 so the combination is 4 so for 0 0 combination we select i1 0 as an output for a 0 1 combination we select 0 1 as an output for 1 0 combination we select i2 as an output and for 1 1 combination we select Select I3 as an uh, as an uh, as an uh, output. Okay, you can uh, write here I0, I1, I2, I3, or D1, D0, D0, D1, D2, D3. Okay, as your choice. Then for 8 is to 1 marks, there is a 8 enable inputs, uh, 8 inputs, and here the enable signal. And there are three inputs. Uh, there are three select lines because if the select lines is three, then two to the power three is nothing but eight inputs and one output. If we uh, there are three uh, select lines, so here S0, S1, and S2. So there is eight combinations. So for 0, 0, 0, the select uh, y is what? D0. For 0, 0, 0, 1 y is equal to D1. For 0, 1, uh, 0 is y is D2. For 0, 1, 1 y is D3. For 1, 0, 0, y is D4. For 1, 0, 1, y is D5. For 1, 1, 1, 0. For 1, 1, 0, y is D6. And for 1, 1, 1, it is D7. This is nothing but the multiplexer uh, types and its truth table. We have to just write uh, on the y output that is nothing but the input. Okay, for 0, 0, 0, it is i0. For 0, 1, it is i1. Uh, for 1, 0, it is i2. And for 1, 1, it is i3. Okay. Then a demultiplexer, here we start the demultiplexer and demultiplexer is opposite or reverse to the multiplexer. A demultiplexer performs the uh, say reverse operation of the multiplexer that is it receives only one input. Okay, It receives only one input and distribute it over the multiple outputs, Okay, over the multiple outputs. So it has only one input and n number of outputs and m select lines. At the time only one output line is selected by the select lines and the input is transmitted to the selected output line okay so this is the block functional diagram for the dmux if you the data input if you see here data input is one and here the outputs are multiple so here is this select line if the um, data uh, d0 is uh, according to the select line the input is connected to the uh, any or any one of the output okay uh, the large arrow indicates uh, one or more lines the select inputs code determines to which output the data input will be transmitted okay data input transmitted to only one of the outputs as determined by the select lines in uh, other words a demultiplexer takes uh, one data input source and select uh, and selectively and distributes it to one to n number of outputs okay output channel so this is nothing but dmux block diagram that is one input only and m single out uh, m control signals here and n number of outputs here block diagram of 1 is to 2 marks if you see here there are two um, uh, variations in multiplexer here the one is constant for inputs because a uh, uh, multiplexer has only one input and uh, two uh, and two four sixteen thirty two uh, decides or uh, represents the number of outputs okay one is to one uh, one is to two uh, demultiplexer represents the one output uh, one input uh, two outputs that is nothing but this okay so enable is zero then one one select line is only one because because here two outsp outputs are present so for output 0 and 1 what is um, the output that is here 0 0 and here 0 d in okay here we select y1 for a one a 0 combination and for a 1 we select d y0 okay if you see here 1 to 4 d marks that is here the four outputs so s0 and s1 is one uh, s0 and s1 are two select lines so here the combination is four and enable line is here enable is given here that is one one so uh, for a 0 0 d0 is one for a 0 1 d1 is one for 1 0 d2 is one and for 1 1 d3 is one you have to just put output here that is d0 d1 d2 d3 and according to that you have to put one like you get that type of you get uh, like this okay diagonal you have to uh, uh, if you see here you get the diagonal 
okay you get the diagonal here that is like this okay this d d d this is nothing but the diagonal element okay uh, if you see here that is eight inputs uh, eight outputs here and one single input so the select lines is three and if the select line is three then combination is eight for zero 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 the d y y zero is uh, d okay for uh, if you start from here that is y zero y one then d is present here okay Zero for zero zero, it is d zero. Okay, this is nothing but okay. Wait, um, this is nothing but what? It is it represents what zero? It represents one. It represents two, three, four, five. Six and seven. So for a y zero column, you have to write d, or you have to write one only. For a one, this is nothing but by decimal one. This is nothing but the decimal one. So in a y one, you have to write one or d. This is decimal two, so you have to write y two, one into y two. Then this is decimal three, so you have to write three uh, one into Y three column. This is four, so you have to write D or one into Y four column. Then it is five, so you have to write five, uh, one into uh, Y five. Then um, this is six, so you have to write D or one into uh, Y six column. And this is last. So you get the diagonal. Okay, you get the diagonal element here. Okay. So in the in this way we have to um, draw the multiplexer and demultiplexer circuits. So uh, what is the comparison of the combinational and sequential circuit? Because in the next lecture we have to uh, see the sequential circuits. What are the sequential circuits? So combinational and sequential circuit. The first is output of any instant of a time depends only upon the input variable. But in a sequential circuit, output is generated. Dependent upon the present input also, and the on the basis of past history of that input. Okay, so uh, it will depends on past and present input. So memory unit is not required. That is, it does not locate any memory to the element because it uh, it is uh, it gives the output only at the instant of the input. Okay, so there is no need to. Uh, Take a memory here, or no need to allocate any memory to the combinational circuits. But memory unit is required because we allocates any memory to the elements because we uh, here uh, we uh, think here about past and uh, past and present input. So it is faster. Okay, it is faster, but it is slower. Easy to design. It is difficult to design. It is a parallel adder. It is a serial adder. Okay, so uh, example is what half adder. That is nothing but adder circuit, subtractor circuit, multiplexer and demultiplexer are the combinational circuits. And in a sequential circuits, all the flip flops are covered in the sequential circuits. Then shift registers and binary counters are present. Okay, in a next lecture we will see uh, what is the sequential circuits and um, and what is the counters okay thank you